here to celebrate your life. It's lonely here without my wife. Hi everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today I will be doing week two recap of Zwift's Build Me Up training plan. For those of you who is a frequent viewer of the channel, thank you so much for your support. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down at the bottom. It would really help me to build my channel up to higher level. So I started off the week with strength and conditioning workout, which I had missed in the week previously because my legs were so wiped out and I was so tired from the two workouts. So all I did on Monday was arms and core strength, some of the workouts that I did included Russian twists, lat and front raises, bench press, tricep kickbacks, tricep dips, and sit-ups. Some of these workouts I modified using a basu ball. I think that's how you say it. I used either the, my dumbbells that I have here or a weighted ball. Then on Tuesday, I did a workout called What Comes Up Must Come Down, uh, where the duration of the sets increased by one minute and the power target decreased by five watts at each set. Now I wasn't able to complete the workout because I felt like the rest in between was just way too short. And I really wasn't able to recover properly to do the next couple of sets um, to the maximum effort. So I also had some issues with my, uh, the trainer locking up. So during erg mode, the pedal locked up and I'm still learning how to use erg mode properly. Um, but it has been an annoying issue and this has happened to me a couple of times before where during the recovery period, my pedals would lock up. So I'm actually starting to get pretty annoyed and starting to dislike erg mode in that way. On Wednesday, I did a workout called half M's, which I'm pretty sure I'm saying it incorrectly. Um, I was determined to finish this workout since I did fail the previous one the day before. Uh, the main set included three by 12 minutes at Sweet Spot. The first set, there were cadence changes, which made it challenging at the end because by that time, I was going from 60 RPMs to 100 RPMs. And I started to notice that my cadence dropping towards the end, but I did complete the workout. Thursday, thankfully, was rest day, which was considered a weigh-in day. So if you guys watch our previous two videos, I mentioned about how Jason and I did a ch decided to do a challenge for ourselves. And that challenge was to lose some excess weight that we had gained during the uh, COVID lockdown and also during the holidays. So our goal was to weigh in, our final weigh in date would be this Thursday, February 24th. If we don't meet that goal, then we would have to do a very long ride on Zwift. So my goal was to lose three pounds by the 24th, which is this Thursday. And jo Jason's goal was to lose five pounds. So far, we've both met our goal and we're super excited. I'm super excited to continue on to this weight loss journey. Um, along with hopefully building power at the same time. And I know that could be a delicate balance between losing weight and possibly losing power as well. But I am looking forward to see how far I can push my body. And with a weight loss, trying to keep it as healthy, losing weight, it's not starving myself each day. And so I'm hoping to keep that week off by this Thursday so that we do our final weigh in. On Friday, I did an active recovery ride, just kept the heart rate low at low zone two. Power was no more than 100 watts. I think I averaged 97 watts on that ride. And I love these kinds of rides. These rides kind of help kind of recharge me mentally and physically. And I still feel like I did something. You know, I still sweat a little bit, uh, but not as much as I normally would do in, other, in these other workouts. Saturday, uh, I did a workout called Mishmash, which is kind of hard to explain. So I'm gonna try my best to explain it as I can. The first set was sub threshold for three minutes and threshold for one minute, then recover at low zone two. And I repeated that four times. The second set was four minutes at sweet spot, four minutes at sub threshold and four minutes at zone two. And I repeated that twice. Then a long recovery of 12 minutes in between, and then zone two for 12 minutes after that, 
but each minute I changed the cadence. So I followed it's precisely what the prompts were telling me on the screen. Each minute there were cadence changes, either from 60 RPMs to 100 RPMs, either getting off the saddle or staying seated on the saddle. After that workout, I did feel pretty accomplished. However, uh, that workout was plagued with a number of dropouts of Bluetooth signal dropouts. And I was just starting to get extremely frustrated by that time. It was an hour and a half long workout also. So I probably could have counted four dropouts during that time period. Uh, and I obviously, you know, as you guys would probably, if you've ever encountered that, those types of um, issues in your, in your trainer and your smart trainer, it could be pretty frustrating and just annoying at the same time. So afterwards, I just quickly researched a, a fix to this. And apparently Wahoo does sell something called an Ant Plus dongle, which enhances the or improves the connectivity, the Bluetooth connectivity with the computer. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you an update once I get that in the mail. Now, the last workout was called the Orange Unicorn. Um, the main set included six over-unders and repeated that four times. Um, as I was doing the first set though, I started to notice quickly that my heart rate was starting to rise up to 180 and that I felt that was a little unusual because, you know, first sets, usually it will gradually tick up. Um, but I also noticed that the recovery in between these sets were only two minutes and you get this long 15 minute at threshold effort, but then you get this super small recovery in between. So what I did was I paused the workout after 15 minutes of that, the over unders and just made sure that I extended the recovery time to 50% of what the actual hard effort was. So, um, I, actually recovered for six to six and a half minutes. And then I continued on with the next set of intervals. So even though with the modifications of the recovery, I did still feel extremely tired and extremely fatigued, especially my legs and my heart and my breathing. Um, it just felt so hard to do. So when I finished the first two sets, uh, even with the six minutes to six and a half minutes of recovery time, I still felt like I couldn't push myself anymore. And I actually wondered whether or not I could complete the next two sets. Once the timer countdown hit zero and it was time to do that hard effort, I started a third set and almost completed it. Stopped halfway. I had to do a forced recovery in order to get my legs going again, in order to get my breathing back to normal. And I think the problem was that there were these changes in cadences. And I don't know if you guys have ever tried Zwift training plans, but they do play around with the cadence seated versus uh, seated versus getting off the saddle to make it more interesting. But because of the changes in the cadence, it definitely fatigued my legs and my breathing a lot faster. So I think the transition between the 65, 65 RPMs to 110 RPMs was really hard for me. So it really um, taxed me and I just couldn't recover quick enough to do the next sets. So the last set, uh, which was the fourth set that I did, what I ended up doing was I still did my over under. However, I did include a one minute to two and a half minutes of recovery in between those tiny little sets, those over under efforts. I know that's not what the workout called for me to do, but I just couldn't continue anymore. And so uh, in order for me to fully complete that workout, I would have to do the recovery in between. Would I have been able to do the workout if I had just ignored the cadence that was prescribed? Uh, maybe, and maybe not. Maybe there's just a lot more things that I need to work on. Uh, the erg mode does make it a lot harder and I've never worked in this, uh, in a trainer like that, where it maintains the power for you. And so that made it extra difficult and challenging to complete. That's it for week two recap of Zwift's build me up training plan. Thank you guys for subscribing. And then for those of you who are frequent viewers of my channel, and I love the conversation that you guys are having in the comments section. And I try uh, to respond to them as much as I can. Uh, continue to follow me along 
as I tackle those with build me up training plan. And hopefully by next week, I'll be able to put out week three video, follow along as I try to build my fitness in this training plan and hopefully encourage you guys to challenge yourself both inside and out. See you next week and don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.